All right, so now that we've done some basic troubleshooting to make sure that the software's working, we're gonna go in and actually set it up. So we're just gonna go over and show you everything that's here and give you an overview in this video of everything, okay? So if you click on these little, if you click on these little buttons right here, well, I already showed you how to turn the extension on and off. And if you click on these little buttons, one's gonna take you to the actual dashboard. This is where you can resync everything with your Facebook account. Um, especially some of you guys use multiple different Facebook accounts. If you're using multiple different Facebook accounts, whenever you log out of one and log into the next one, you'll need to come to this dashboard and you'll need to actually resync things up so that it understands who to actually listen for, okay? Um, then you'll see these settings here. This is where all your message settings are, your auto response and your default messages how you can create new auto responses. We're gonna go through that in the next video. You'll also see your delay settings. So uh, this, is, this is going to allow you to set a delay between the auto response, okay? So what that means is whenever somebody sends you an incoming message, if we're going to auto respond to that message, you can set a delay time here. If you wanna wait an hour, then you can just set this. You can turn this on and you can set it to wait an hour. If you wanna wait five minutes, someone sends you a message and you don't wanna respond back to them instantly, you wanna wait one minute or you wanna wait two minutes, or you wanna wait three minutes or four minutes or five minutes or 27 minutes, then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna turn this on and you're going to set however many minutes, however many hours you want to wait before you actually send the response to them. I don't like to have a delay, so I'm not gonna turn mine on. If you wanna turn your, your, yours on, you're more than welcome to, and then just fill out whatever time you wanna do there, okay? And then you have a way to log out. If you wanna log out from the extension, you can log out from the extension. However, if you just don't want the extension to, to run, and you just wanna turn it off, remember, you can always just turn it off. Okay, so that kind of gives you a basic overview of everything that you're going to find inside the software. And then in the next training video, I'm going to show you how to go in and actually start getting stuff set up and start automatically responding to people and start setting up your chat box.